Hey everybody, welcome back to day five in the hangar. Now, originally I was not going to film a video today because I'm really not doing any, anything too exciting. I'm not making a fairing or building a wing or hanging an engine on the front or anything like that. But I thought I would put out a video today because it's day five in the series. It's going to be the last one because I go back to work. But I just wanted to show you that not every day building a plane is filled with fun stuff. <laughs> today, it's just tedious, boring stuff. For example, I got up this morning and started sanding down the fairing that I made on the bottom of the windshield. It's boring and it's not really fun to watch and it's not really fun to film, but it needs done. So what I've started doing is sanding this down with a foam sanding block. And the next thing I'm going to use is a piece of sandpaper on a piece of wood just to get a little stiffer backing to the sandpaper to really knock off some of the high points on here. And then the next step for this is Len and I will mix up another batch of resin and we call it peanut butter uh, because it's a consistency of peanut butter, but it's just resin with a whole bunch of micro balloons and flocks and stuff like that in it to make it really thick. That's a big thick coat that goes on here. Once that's sanded off, this will be pretty much perfectly smooth and then it'll, I'll pop it off, trim the edges and pretty much it'll be ready for primer and paint. So sanding this down today isn't very exciting for you guys to watch, but it needs done. One of the other things I decided to do was put the mounting screws in the fairings. So these are in place and done. It's nothing major. It's nothing real super fun to do, but now the holes are set and they are mounted. I have the aft one done on the left side also, but I have not installed the one on the forward strut yet. And it's only because I wanna take this bolt out to install it. And uh, it's just kind of a hassle to take the strut off. I have to remove the strut to get that bolt out. So I think what I'm going to do is wait until I'm ready to remove the wings. And then real quick, quickly when I disconnect that strut, I'll put the fairing on there, get it set, get it screwed to the wing and set so it's all done. And then all of these will be finished up. Something else I'm taking care of today is the jury struts. I've kind of cleaned and scuffed these up. I'll take them to the powder coaters and I'll get them powder coated white just like I did for the right wing. I also have a weld shop in Flint that I'm going to call to see if I can get them to weld the crack on my pits muffler. So that's all on the agenda for today. I'm also, little by little, still removing the primer overspray so that I can get the fuselage ready for primer and paint. And if I can give you guys a recommendation based on what I've done is I would do this a little bit neatly or more, a little bit neatly. I would do it more neater. <laughs> Let's just say more neater when I was doing this. I would have probably taped this off because even though this does come off easy enough with MEK, it's actually not real easy to get off. You do kind of have to scrub it and let the MEK soak in there, but it does come off. But either way, it would be a lot less work if when I primed like the, this piece here, but the, the tab that's under here, it would have been a lot easier if I just taped this part off because now I wouldn't have to spend all this time cleaning that primer off. Now, just an FYI on what's coming up here. Now that that's done, I actually can probably take these wings off now. I don't think I need the wings on here anymore. There's some things I can do. I can work on these skins here on both wings. I do need to fit the wing tips. But as far as the fuselage goes, I think that it is now ready for paint. I did mention on a previous video, I'm going to wait until after paint to install the windows. So once I take this fairing off, once it's kind of done, I can take this top skin off and then start prepping the fuselage for paint. I think that's, I think everything's done that needs to be done prior to paint. And then I can also paint the horizontal stab and the rudder and elevator and kind of get the back all buttoned up. The only problem is I have too many airplanes in here now and it's going to be a little bit harder to fit a paint booth in here. So my plan is to build a paint booth over in that corner. Um, but I gotta, you know, some of those other pits wings I can easily get rid of. I can put them in the house or the garage. But I just have to figure out how things are going to fit in here so that I can build a paint booth. 
because, like I said, I'm pretty close to ready for paint. Well, now you know what I'm going to be working on today. Nothing too fun, nothing real exciting, nothing worth filming. I'll just be standing here with the sanding block, sanding the fairing. Then I'll be sitting here choking on MEK, removing primer. But I'm looking outside and it looks like a really nice day. So I might even go fly the Blue Angels Cruiser. 